ahead and see what you are right here. Let's give you back. Please be greedy. Show me. Oh, yes. Hello, you bunch of weirdos, and welcome back to the Pokemon Career Mode, the Career Mode! That if we defeat a team, we get to capture one of their Pokemons, and guys, if you could, go ahead and rock smash that like button, it would be super effective! Well, as you can see right here, we are 20 points clear of the top. Just absolutely bossing the lead to you, and you guys have spoken, and I've listened, because I'm a man of the people. We are doing an accelerator career mode! What does that mean, much you ask? Well, I'm going to be action-packing the second half of this season into the following two episodes, which means, next episode, yes, lads, we are getting a revenge match up against Gary Freaking Oak and Real Madrid. I got a great ball ready for you, Gary. But, alas... In this, in this episode and in, in these subsequent following two episodes essentially, what I'm going to be doing, uh, the main goal is basically training up, you know, my top tier Pokemon to try to get some good evolutions and simming through in the majority of these matches. And guys, I want to let it be known, in these sim matches, Nuzlocke rules and capture rules do not apply, I'm just getting through them. But right there, that is crucial. We lose Veritooth for two months and it always feels like in simming... It always feels, ah, it's just frustrating because when you lose those really good players and you can't really train them up and we can't get evolution, so it's doubly frustrating in this Pokemon career mode. But now, the matches that I do want to play, I got a personal Vendetta or I want to capture one of their Pokemon. And uh, Sporting Hijon, a little bit of both. I have a little bit of Vendetta because they did give me a little bit of a booty whipping early on and I thought, you know, with my revamp team, I could definitely put a little hurting on them. I've been feeling a little bit cocky in this new patch, but maybe I shouldn't right here. Look at this! Hijon was taking me to task very early on. Pablo going in, but just slashing it over the top with a crossbar. But once again, as you can see, all these highlights, all of them were Hijon! And we go down in the 78th minute, guys! Nuzlocke rules do apply for the games that I play live! And I started my first team of this. I thought I was going to walk all over them. And guys, we need to get something right here. 86 minute. Could we possibly get anything? No, no foul. Oh my goody goodness. This could be it, guys. Now, 89th minute, our last game's chance. And Polo is held. And unfortunately, it wasn't in the box. And oh my god, this is it. If I cannot get, this is the last, pretty much the last kick of the game. If I cannot get anything over here, Pianich. Pianich, please. Pianich, please. If I cannot get this. <laughs> you did not realize like how hard my heart was racing in this moment when I was playing this game live. Like I've never felt this intense because I knew Pianch was on the line. I knew Mbolo was on the line. I knew Nabil Fakir was on the line. All my top tier players started this game and he did not sink this. I was losing one of them to Nuzlocke. We were that freaking close, guys. 91st minute free kick. Oh, I love you, Pianich! You freaking legendary Pokemon, you! Oh, my goody goodness. Oh, just that close. Just that close to losing our first Pokemon to Nuzlocke rules, but we get a 1 1 draw up against Hijon, which means we get one pull out of here at a 50 50 pull rate. So let's go ahead and dig into the tall grass right here. Let's get it pretty quick. Um, Hijon! It's a pretty talented squad. Actually, a lot of the players were on loan, and actually the best player that was on that team was Alan Holovich. Let's see what we can pull out here. Show me some green! You are not green, you are Luis Hernandez. Luis Hernandez. Yeah, he's not that bad, he's not that bad. Alright guys, not the best player, but let's go ahead and flip the coin. As always, you guys already know. If it stays blue, we're gonna keep him. If it turns red, then he goes back into the wild. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, that's fine. I honestly don't care because at the end of the day we didn't lose a Pokemon to Nuzlocke and that is the most amazing feeling of all. And speaking of Nuzlocke, you guys have been asking for exemptions to the starter Pokemon, which, to be technical, would be Donald Breel and Bola, who is Squirtle, Anthony Marshall, who's Charmander, and I'm going to be switching it up. It is going to be Mr. Mont and Odegaard, who is Bulbasaur, so do you guys want exemptions? I'm going to leave it up to you. I'm going to put a straw poll down below. Do our, star our starter Pokemon gain immunity? two freaking Nuzlocke rules. Go ahead, vote down below, and another freaking injury, but thankfully it's Pianich, and it's only for nine days, so yeah, you go have a rest, you legendary Pokemon, you. Now we're gonna go ahead and be training up, and a lot of you guys said in the last episode that by the time that we get Mr. Burgie wins up to like a high enough rating that he becomes a Depai, and then Depai gets a high enough rating to be Robin, he's gonna be too old, so yeah, we're probably not gonna be doing that, we're probably gonna be mixing up something. But look at this, Anthony Martial out for three weeks, what is going on with all these injuries? Oh my god, this is what this is what I hate about Semi. And another 
Oh my god, and another injury to freaking Enrique, and he was doing so well, he was growing like a freaking weed. And look at that, oh my god, look at this. Two months, so he's pretty much, he's almost done for the rest of the season. He was growing so fast, he was almost up to a, a 77, we could get him to an 80, we could have gotten our Marquinhos by the end of the season. Oh, these injuries, man. These injuries, man. I'm not, I'm, I'm not having fun right now, but we are going to go into a live match right here up against Crystal Palace, who does sit in fifth place. And the main reason why I'm playing Crystal Palace is I want that Bolasi. And speaking of which, the bad, 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 bad is in. And a dangerous, dangerous ball, but unfortunately, Zaha. Just, what a crap shot. What a crap shot right there. And now, another good shot by Campbell right there, but couldn't do anything with it and if you squander your chances then you give me some chances and now Nori most of our second team was actually in this give it to Mr. Virgil when getting a rare start and he gets taken now by Sori and the referee points to the spot and oh my goodness my bread and or butter right here number 23 of Crystal Palace going ahead and knocking out the planter foot of Mr. Burgie wins and we're going to step up. Who else are we going to give to? As you can see, Pjanic is already back from injury. I thought about giving it to Donald Beer and Bolo, but I trust Pjanic. And we're going to do the crossy. Ooh, we're doing it once again. That OP technique. If you guys want to know this technique that I'm going to be using, go ahead and check it. I'm going to leave a link to that video down below. And it is just OP. Even if the keeper guesses the wrong, he always just like jumps over it oddly. So it's kind of weird. And now we go. Virgie wins. Cutting inside. Ball roll. And then the finesse shot up and under Mr. Sproni, the club legend for Crystal Palace and the Chani. Crystal Palace career mode. Oh, I'm sorry, I gotta do it to you. But man, we don't need Mr. Velocity because look at the skills on Mr. Young Virgin. The future Memphis Depay looking like Memphis Depay right there. Well, not in real life. He hasn't been doing it all well. Let's not talk about that, but ah, kind of a crap. <laughs> Actually, he farted right at Speroni. Speroni kind of crapped it into the goal. But I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna go ahead and take it to goal. We. Oh my goodness. goodness. Yeah, look at that. Look at those stats. Look at that. <laughs> Give it to me. Give me that Bolasi. Give me that Bolasi. Give me that Bolasi. All right, two new win up against Pardue's Palace, which means we get two pulls out of the tall grass. Let's go ahead and grab it in here. Crystal Palace, you know, eh, they're about a mid-table BPL side with a couple of talents. The only one that I really want out of this is probably Bolasi, but we'll see. Zaha could be pretty nice, too, so let's go ahead and open it up. Let's go ahead and see who we get right here. Woo! Oh! Oh, sorry! Pape Sori, with good offensive and defensive stats. This left back can make any defense. Call him Big Pape. Alright, not bad for a first pull, and we need some depth in that left back position, so not bad, not bad at all. Oh, uh, let's go ahead and see who we get from here. Who could be the second one? You are MacArthur! Alright! James MacArthur. He is a human C+. Plus. I mean, look at these stats. They're just like all 70, 76. It's like, he's literally a C+. Plus. All right, we're kind of stacked at the CDM position right now, so I think we're going to go ahead and capture Mr. Sawyer right here, the Cameroonian. Let's go ahead, grab him up, put him in to the Pokeball. And we're not a bad capture, but we are kind of stacked at that CDM position. As you can see right here, uh, we're giving Bergwin two training spots since Enrique went down. We're going to try to train him up, get him to that Memphis Depay. And if Memphis Depay is going to be that final illusion, I was thinking, you know, in between, we could make him a Krishna? What do you guys think, guys? What do you think would be a good winger, you know, mid-tier uh, Netherlands winger that could be the mid-evolution of the Memphis Depay Bergwin win? Uh, trifecta as we go ahead and pound it. Please no! Yes, no more injuries. Please God, <laughs> no more injuries as we go into another live match up against Sao Paulo. And the reason why I want to play Sao Paulo is spiritually this team is Santos. Like we have the Santos roster and I want to be playing a lot of these Brazilian teams if I can keep up a little bit of the rivalries as we have Anthony Martialazar going cutting inside. Double ball roll far as away. Pings it over to Danny Ceballos who absolutely thunderbolts it. Off of that crossbar, who look at the power, Ivano cutting down the wing, and oh my god, just getting absolutely bulldozered, look at that, what are you doing, look at this defender, he's being all Geodude, using rock smash, uh, Mr. Gavano, and he was just minding his own business, he's like, oh, like Geodude, Geodude, dude, dude, bro, chill out, chill out, bro, now, who are we gonna give this to, Mr. Anthony Marshall, who you might remember, I 
clinically missed when using this technique at first, but now I got this shit. I got this shit on lock, son. I got it down pat. If you want to know this technique, as I said before, it's almost unstoppable. It's pretty much unfreaking believable how effective that pen technique is. You guys didn't see it in my previous career modes this year that I've really been struggling with them. So if you guys want to lock down an A, okay. Uh, type of uh, technique to do a penalty go ahead and take a look at that but now look at stuff Paulo. look at this beautiful intricate stuff I step up totally left on mark Hudson far as it is it just shambolic absolutely diabolical defense look at what just the freak happened what the freak happened to my defense did someone use screech did someone oh my god we need to use harden because our defense is on too low too, too low young lads what the freak and now we're actually gonna uh, be tied up after this. So what are we gonna do right here? Look at this cheekiness! Centurion is in! What a great recovery from Dennis, the menace in goal. And now we're gonna try to bring in some new blood right here. Can we get a last gas winner? Anthony Martial cuts inside! And the flamethrower with more like an ember on that one, not on target. We get a couple more shots right here, but nothing all that great. Allison cuts inside with a little bit of nifty footwork, but carried away at the last second. Freaking Sao Paulo is lucky to escape on this one, guys. We had them by the butthole, but as you can see right here, we could not finish. Oh, these 1-1 one -one draws are going to beat the death of me, but that means we get another pull from Sao Paulo. Sao Paulo, a pretty talented team right here, but I think there's only one really biggie boy that I want to get from here. Gonzo would be nice, but I want me some of that Pato. Give me some of that Pato. Get in the hat. Hype right here. Get a little bit of the nip luck. Let's go ahead and peel you out. Show me some green, baby. Show me what you made of. Show me what you rocking with. You are! Ugh. Edson Silva. That boy's strong. And then he's complete crap everywhere else. Alright, so 70 rated center back. He's Brazilian. He's not all that great. So let's go to the coin. Remember, if it stays blue, we get to keep him. If it's red, alright, we get to keep him. It's Lovely. Speaking of lovely guys, look at who we are playing in the final match of this episode. The angelically talented Ajax. Oh my goodness. Unfortunately, they sit in fifth place. Hopefully, they can get their poop together and make it all the way up because I want to win every single division that I go to because the roster is so freaking talented. And with a, with a roster that talented, I got to risk. I got to put my first team out there, guys. It's risk and reward. So if we lose in this match, we're probably going to lose one of our best Pokemon. But look at this absolute. Thunder cunt of a roster. I don't even know why I described him like that, but look, Victor Fisher, El Ghazi, Classic, Bialzor, Silicon. What? What? <laughs> look, everything is on the line and I'll risk everything like it's the World Cup 2014. Now Bill Varkur cuts inside. Ah, oh, loses it. it. Wasn't tracking the ball for a bit. And now Pianich. Ah, oh, just a pit a pat a marshmallow jigglypuff shot at the near post. Should have done better, lad. Now Halilovic. What is he going to do? The beautiful Butterfree gets it knocked away. Finds its way to Pianich. But once again, another shot parried away by Silicon. What a keeper he is. Getting taken down right at the top of the box. What am I going to do? Going for the shot underneath the cheekiness of Pianich. Is trying to go sneak it under. And again, Silicon is on freaking one what an absolutely oh, defense curler he is in that back line right now and look at this look at the beautiful intricate play and now and yama possibly the first shot on target and yama just falling to sleep and goal my defense once again falling asleep we need that defense curl in our lives right now and millich playing victor fisher in our crew we are down and we could lose everything right here Ooh. Could we get something right here? We skip past one, skip past two, and once again, we aren't even making Solison work on that one, lads. And that is how the first half would end. We are down, and we are at risk of losing one of our <laughs> top tier Pokemon, guys. What is gonna happen now? Pianish trying to find a bit of space. Look at Vosanko, going in, and it falls, and it's, oh my god, how did that not go in? How did that not go in? But we still have it. Gabriel working it across. He cuts inside with the fake shot. Pairs it away. It gets taken down. He gets taken down. Get Bill Vicker on it. But yes, we get bailed out once again for the third time in this episode. We get a penalty. And I don't know why they gave this to us. Honestly, Nabil Vicker probably would have scored in this situation anyway if he would have played advantage. But I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go take this. And who do I give it to? Do I leave Gabriel? He is the one who earned this panel. I'd be using the good old fashioned technique. Will it work every single- Oh my god! Oh! Oh, the keeper dove the right way. 
How did that sneak in? Look at this. How did that freaking... Oh my goodness. Did we put Vaseline on the ball? Because that somehow gets underneath of the hip joint of the keeper. Look at that. Just a split. If he would have just raised his knee an inch, that was blocked. And we somehow hyper beam that into the back of the net. Oh, maybe we're using Swift. That's the technique that I'm using. If you guys don't know about Swift and Pokemon, it's pretty much a technique that guarantees that you make uh, that you hit 100% of the time. And that is what we use on penalty guys. We use in Swift all day, every day. Mr. Gabriel getting his brace of the day. Oh my goodness. goodness. 88 minutes. We go from one down and we come back from the risk and... Gabriel got the goal, but just look at the angelicness, the grace that is Nabil Fakir. Look at just oh, embrace critical hits. Super effective, and uh, should have done better with the finish. Silicon was freaking on one. We get one Pokemon from this, we need to get Silicon, and look at the tears. Look at the tears. I'm so sorry, Ghazi. But we are back into it now. All the cheers have passed. We're putting in some substitutions. Can we hang on for a final two minutes plus injury time to go ahead and get ourselves a 1-0 win up against Mr. Ajax? But look at this beautiful intricate play. Getting it over the top and just a gold medal scramble. What is going to happen right here? Do not cross that in. We get Tete getting it in. Can we parry it away? Volsenko giving up a corner in the 92nd minute. But... And Yama making up for the miss earlier. We're going to play it out to the wing. And that'll be it, boys. We go ahead and come from behind. Yes, lads. Tenacious, tenacious. Look at this. It's absolute domination in the second. Nine shots and nine shots on target. Oh, We could have had more. We could have had more. But Silicon, the hero and my man of the match. All right, boys. 2-1 win up against Ajax. And this one I'm the most excited about because the roster that they started was astronomical. Guys, out of the 11, I believe nine of them have a potential of 80 or higher. We get one pull out of here. So, oh my god, please do not be one of the center backs. I think the center backs were the only ones, are the only ones that didn't actually get uh, a rating of 80 potential or higher. So let's go ahead and get a little bit of the in the hat hype. Please don't be yellow. Get a little bit of the dip luck. Let's go ahead and see what you are right here. Let's give you back. Please be greed. Show me. Oh, yes. Oh, Tete. Kenny Tete. He is a more defensive minded right back, but with a potential of 83, he has room to grow in both defensive and offensive stats. He would be an excellent addition to almost any side. Woo! 83 potential right back right here from the Netherlands. Go ahead and give me a kiss. Mwah! That is the somehow of a capture right there. Let's go ahead and put you. Let's go ahead and put you into this right here. Boom. <laughs> And with that, guys, we've pretty much gone through three-fourths of the season. And the next episode, we're going to keep it accelerated, guys. We're going to do the final quarter season. Yes, it's going to be the final episode of season one of the Pokemon Can Road, which we end. Yes, we end with a finale and a rematch up against goddamn Gary Butthead Oak. Can you feel it? I want my revenge. I got one thing waiting for you, Gary. I've been saving this little boy for you, Gary. I'm coming for that, Ronaldo. I'm coming for that, Bale. I'm gonna beat that ass, and I'm gonna get that, Ronaldo, Gary, and there's nothing you can do about it next freaking episode. And in who's that Pokemon? It was Inform Castro. Pretty much all you guys got it, but the three were the first. CW, FIFA, and a FOOM! The Athea, one, two, three, four! Let's go back up, punch! And lastly, but nicely, returning my Filipino brother, Eric Aguilar. And here are a couple more. You know, comments that made me laugh, made me cry, made me feel all warm inside. Everybody, welcome to the showcase. It is gonna be hype. You wait for it, okay? With that, I'm gonna go ahead and conclude this episode of the Pokemon Crew and I cannot wait for the next freaking episode. My name is Demons. Hopefully, you guys are having a wonderful day. Remember, stay yourself, stay humble, and be real.